How's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well today. I am back with another deck review today. We're looking at the new Fantast Gold, not Fantasy, not Fantastic, just Fantast <laughs> from Bond. We Bond. Let's check this one out. Actually, it's Bond Lee. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. All right, so this is the Fantast Gold deck put out by Bond. Lee Bond. No, Bond Lee. Uh, who does have a website. I'll put the link in the description. I don't remember what it is. Um, this is the second version. There was previously another one that was like a dark blue color. This one is the same artwork basically, but it has black with gold foil and on the cards as well. There's a top case. It says, fantastic. Let your dreams fly. <laughs> nice full details. Dream, life, Hassan. On one side, premium quality pointing cards on the other. Nice foil on top. Uh, M3, I believe that is. MS, sorry. I guess that is. Designed by Bond Lee at MS Magic. Made in Hong Kong. Interesting. And in the back design. It's nothing too exciting, but it's fine. And then foil on the flaps. And then there's a set and parts reveal. It is a nice, kind of a soft touch stock on the top case. You get a blank card. Here's a bat design. It's a, it's a nice bat design. It's kind of, it, it's got nice line work, but it's kind of simple. Kind of feels like it needs a little something extra to it, in my opinion. And you do get a double backer as well, which is actually <gasps> foiled on both sides, unlike many other decks. The Jokers look like that. One in black, one on rouge, <laughs> red. The Ace of Spades says Fantast, not Fantasy. Let your dreams fly. It's nice enough. And then you get nice pips for the other aces as well. I believe it's mostly the same one because the previous deck. I know the chord cards are the same. They're all right. They're kind of repet repetitive to some extent. Not the most exciting chord cards in my opinion. In fact, yeah, they're fairly repetitive. Fairly similar, but there are some differences from one to the other. Suicide King, though, is not committing suicide, so that's a bit of a mistake, but then again, you also don't have the, the one eyed Zax or anything. Traditional. Nice. Pips on the number cards. Now, this deck is printed apparently by MS Playing Card Production in Hong Kong. I've never had it before. It's a decent quality stock in Finnish. It's Ericus and Finnis, as they say, gold foil stamped on a German Kohler stock. The tuck case, by the way, uses a premium stock from Germany as well. And it yeah, handled nice enough. I don't know how durable they're going to be. I've never heard of this company before. But it's a decent quality stock. You'd, you know, you might feel like it's a bicycle or Legends printed deck if you were handling it. It's pretty decent. Overall, I'm going to say I'll give it an A minus or a B plus. It's nice, but it feels like they just slapped gold foil on the original deck. Now I do believe this was on this was on Kickstarter at some point in time, but I didn't see it. But uh, yeah, it's available in most card shops. It is what it is. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Check out Bond Lee's website. Link will be in the description. And we'll see you next time. For more, thanks for watching.